Hello, this is John and welcome to my channel, John's Watercolor Talk. Let's start today's uh, live drawing. Mm, today, I will paint this, uh, how can I say, light set, uh, li lighthouse, right? Lighthouse. Uh, this is the my online class um, painting, uh, which I painted uh, today's morning <laughs> yeah um it's the scenery of the dubrunik in Croatia. okay let's start today's painting i will use send us waterfall rough paper the size is the quarter and i will use daniel smith's watercolor i will start with the uh, Holder. Um, I think I will uh, loop the water line quite high like this. The lighthouse is a uh, main character in today's painting. So. I will focus on the scenery with the lighthouse and there is a house so I will set my eye point here Okay, um, every uh, every lines here must be go there. Okay, so maybe it's done. It's an island, beautiful island. Another house. Okay. Yep. Sketchy is done. I will paint sky first, mostly with the salary in blue. This is an open frame. I didn't use the masking tape. So, you can be very free to describe everything. Hello, welcome. And here, uh, very wet so you can express very wet horizon sea horizon like 
this. And then Kelpo for this place to describe because it's um, very important zone for the highlight. If you want to express some wave, just leave some white area. You don't need to be very correct for every Silhouette, but you have to very careful about the highlight. I want to add more darker pigment for the some part of the sea. And now I I turn on the air conditioner because it's quite hot. So I I must think about the humidity. See, it's quite dry. Well, I want to add some pigment more. Add some warm, warm tone. You can add cool tone here. You can choose. Just think about the Light and dark. Do not describe everything. You can also use paper towel for painting. It's very good, actually. Hmm. It's quite orangish, so you can use some orange color for that, but not that much. Just think about it's a quite bright area. Leave some textures for the windows. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask whenever you want. It's very good to talk about the painting. Very important thing is to leave your textures well, but you also think about light and dark. Just edit some. Blue color here. 
Then these sanders were for paper dry very slow. It's really good for watercolors but using a lot of water because it dry slow. Yeah, I want to add the shadows for this. I add more dark. If you use some paper which can dry late, you can play a lot of things with water. Watercolor does a lot with water, so it's a very important thing to use. A good paper like Sanders Waterfall. If the paper dry like, then you can play more. Hello, HM. Nice to meet you. Okay, how are you today? Okay, I will add more darker color later. So now I paint it a lot. In this place, but I have to move other place too. Watching your video at the beach now. Wow, it's great! Thank you. Just think about light and dark, where is dark area and focus to describe those things. I can change many things for the paint. I can change the color, perspective. Those things have to have to be follow your plan. If you don't have plan, it goes very strange way. So just uh, think about your plan before you start painting. Just a small plan is enough. But if you don't have plan, you just follow the scene. The scene can be good. 
if you have very lucky but the thing can be bad to translate to paint so you should think about those things before start your painting You are so good at light and dark control always. Thank you so much. I'm trying to I'm trying to focus on uh, those parts, light and dark. As much, uh, as much as I paint, I can feel the the importance of that. It's more much more important than any other subject. You agree? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you don't need to be very perfect in everywhere. But just express what you feel about the scenery. I want to dry some and I will add uh, adjust the light and darkness more. Okay, I will turn the mic for a while. See you soon. Yeah, it, it dried, and I will add more dark. In some part,
and you can remove some in here some part you should very sharp but some part you should make it softer and it's quite easy for the watercolor to control those things so watercolor is a very interesting you can do a lot of things with the watercolor so I hope you really enjoy the journey of that Add some detail and it's enough to show uh, it's a mount just a show uh, important area uh, it's I need more sharp. Textures. If you, uh, when after you describe almost everything, uh, next step is to just express some textures. Use the dry brushes. Press the load mark or some more dark areas. Even those parts, the watercolor uh, can do many things with its own um, character. Okay, this part is finished. I will add some birds here. So not that many. Okay. Some textures. Mm -hmm. If it's not necessary, just stop. Usually, if you add more and more, it doesn't go light way. It can be go wrong way easily.
to spend long time for a paint it's not that mean it will be greater so when you paint you have to stop many times and look your way and have to consider it's good uh, to continue or just stop so in this case uh, the water made a little bit different level of the water horizon but if I add more uh, pigment the uh, spontaneous movement of the water can be um, deleted so it can be uh, covered so I don't want for that so maybe it's the time for stop just some drop and dry even this kind of mark is it's about the watercolor so you don't need to remove everything it's beautiful thank you so much i will dry the paper one more time see you soon Very good, thank you so much. Yes, it's done. So, yeah, I satisfied about this painting. And whenever I paint the, the ocean, uh, my feel uh, uh, coming better <laughs> because it's my uh, peaceful place. So, uh, in Montreal, uh, it's really hard to see uh, the ocean or sea um, because it's too far from here by car I have to go 11 more hours to see the ocean so yeah I miss the ocean and sea so it's really um, happy to paint this um, Ocean scenery, ocean or sea. <laughs> I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know exactly what is sea and what is ocean. The difference, but anyway. <laughs> okay, I enjoyed it so much. I hope that you enjoy too. <laughs> okay, uh, that's all. Uh, and see you in the next live don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, be healthy thank you so much bye bye